When you first heard the word tantra, what came to mind? Tantra? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> When I first heard of Tantra, I wasn't really sure what entailed. I had heard something about related to sex, tantric lovemaking. I really didn't know. Lots of beautiful women. Mm. <laughs> sex. Long sex. <laughs> Massaging a lot of oil. <laughs> and then you came to my city school. What did you learn that Tantra is actually about? When I came to the school, totally opened my eyes to the beautiful world of Tantra. I learned that Tantra is actually about using your your real life in the world as your spiritual practice. So not going off onto some mountain somewhere to meditate uh, or having to give up, you know, your life uh, in order to have a spiritual practice, but using your life. As spiritual practice. It's really a framework for how to live your life and how to live from the heart and to do that in your daily life right now. Really it's more about the whole being, it's a holistic practice and that's something you, you definitely learn once you come here. The biggest thing I got out of school is to learn how to love other people and also learn how to love myself. For me it was probably um, accepting and opening myself up to intimacy with others um, because even though I say I'm, a, I'm open to intimacy and you really see that actually you do have some resistance or blockages so for me it was definitely relaxing and being open to um, experiencing something with another person um, even as simple as a hug or holding hands can actually be quite powerful. It's an experience of just complete um, connection and energy through, through meditation and it was it was this super high energy, like sort of electric pulsing going through my body. It was a physical thing, I could feel it. Just absolutely amazing, I didn't want it to end. It's given me some practical tools that I can start to apply every day. My life is full of travel, and I work a lot with business people. It can be kind of stressful. Having these tools now give me an opportunity to check inside myself to make sure that I'm staying aligned with who I am. The learning, it's just so much wisdom being bestowed on me all the time in every class in this retreat. And the teachers were really amazing. When I first met them, um, I had no context as to who they were in the school. They were just like people in this um, at the school, but amongst other people. So I was just chatting with them and they just seemed really nice and easy going down to earth. And I was so impressed by how knowledgeable they are and how they make things very understandable, very approaching. Really awakened to the realization how much they do know and how much they can teach. And the connections with some of the people here were far more profound than I maybe have ever experienced. So I think it's going to take a while to process <laughs> this experience. Yeah, it was amazing. Totally fulfilling, heart opening, beautiful people. Like, wow, like, this isn't just theories and stuff. This is actually real and, and not a confirmation that I'm on the right track and I was in the right place. So, if you want more loving community, expansion, wisdom, come join us in Chiang Mai. So, come to us in Chiang Mai. You are the president of Chiang Mai. Come join us in Chiang Mai.